Hello McWarriors, how is it going? Welcome to another episode of Battletech Advance 3062. Guys, you have voted and it seems that a lot of people really like potatoes. I should have probably not given you that answer option, but so be it. Uh, it seems that we're gonna play some Battletech Advance 3062 uh, because uh, Rogue Take seems to be not that, um, you know, relevant for you. Or at least not in the stable version that it is in right now. So we're gonna wait a bit until the bugs have been uh, quenched. And uh, now we're gonna go ahead and play some more missions in this one here. We sadly don't have that many good options here. There's a three and a half scale capture base mission that we can play, and then a weapon shipment with uh, three scale missions. You know what we're gonna do? We're gonna go and uh, attack the surveillance outpost, and then we're gonna travel again because I think we have enough reputation to get four scale missions. Yeah, exactly. So that means that we can go into Davian space and get some more of those. Let me quickly check my max. I think we got some repairs to do here. Yeah, that is okay. And that is also pretty okay. So nothing got super critical here. And we can continue playing. Oh my god. It was a rough ride the last time we played. I gotta say that. I gotta admit. But in the end, in the end, we are still looking very fine. Cool thing here is that Hmm, we could go for more rep, but I want to go for more salvage because we can get a lot out of this here. And we're gonna get some reputation anyway. So let's go ahead and play. Let's do it. All right, guys. Whew. Guys, by the way, um, there is a thing coming up and... Um, I know, I've been talking about that for a while now. I am actually starting a new channel and I have started to record already. So I don't know when it's gonna be released. I think it needs still some polishing. I need to do some voiceover material. I need to um, edit all the stuff, but the first video is in progress. And it is all about this year. It is all about how to reach your audience on Twitch and on YouTube, and how to be a streamer, and how to put your, or yeah, make the most out of your passion for gaming, and uh, I don't know, maybe generate a sustainable income. And that channel, uh, I link it down below in the description, you can already follow that channel, be a subscriber on that channel, but the first video is coming out, I would say, maybe even this week here, uh, at the time that I'm recording this, or maybe, maybe even uh, next week, we will see about that. So, if you are wondering, how to become a YouTuber and Twitch streamer and uh, make it a full-time job. I'm gonna talk about that on my second channel. It's gonna be super good. I'm very, very excited to release the first video. Okay. Now, we're gonna continue playing Battletech here. And the enemies are coming close already. Oh, that's a thing that I didn't expect, to be honest. But it's pretty cool because that means we can already shoot them. So let's bring in... Let's bring in the Zeus over here. And I love this Artemis ammo, it's so good. Artemis gives us such a huge hit chance overall. This is so amazing. I really do love it. By the way, enemy in the back is a 55 toner. And yeah, we can also get into range and line of sight, more importantly, with our rifleman here. Let's just shoot regularly with the ultras and the ultra. Uh, sorry, and the rotary auto cannon. 40% hit chance. Is good enough for me. Another 55 toner. Alright. Lots of stray shots as you could see. Wow. Cool. It's still there turn one. Ooh. And I can start in turn two. Now that's super interesting. Because I can bring in Roller. And Roller is gonna just drop the arrow on his head. Knocking him down. Hopefully. Or maybe completely destroying him. That's also an option. Hell yeah. Okay. So here we go. 55 ton mech coming in. That's the thing that I want to attack next. No, wait. <gasps> He's not destroyed. Huh. Huh. Alright. That's a dervish. Cool. That's a Royal Shadowhawk, that's a definite uh, priority target. And then we still have the Wolvie on the board, on the ground. Okay, we're gonna go in with multi-target. One, two. Shooting the PPC and I think one LRM to the backliner. Uh, that wasn't good enough. But it was a start. And I think we're just gonna follow up on the damage that we already dealt. Ha! Problem is... 
I wasn't really evasive with my Rakshasa. That means I have to do something about the Shadowhawk right now. There's also a Trebuchet not doing anything because it's MRMs. Cool. Okay. So here we go. Let's do something about the Shadowhawk, as I was saying. We'll go in with this and this. Getting some missiles on the Wolfie, hopefully destroying him. Perfect. And we start shooting our Gauss and the large laser at the Shadowhawk. Almost. Standing by. Okay, here we go. Full speed. No target. Ah, the problem is that... Wait, 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 wait. The Shadowhawk is quite evasive right now. Is 40% good enough to go all in here? Actually, we lose accuracy when we go for multiple hits. Yeah, as soon as we go over 3, we lose a lot of accuracy. So we just shoot regularly again. Right, and we are now inspired. That's perfect. The problem still is that they have the initiative and they are still pretty accurate. Getting a nice AC-10. Yeah, LB-10, but with slug ammo to my leg there. And then a dervish punching my timber. My my Rakshasa. Almost the same. Alright. Baby Shea. Also going for the Rakshasa. Okay, so at this point the Rakshasa is bound to be my second liner. Yeah, we lost evasion and everything. So that is not cool. Hmm. As I was saying, we're gonna go for the Shadowhawk first. Not the best hits, I gotta say. Oof. What now? Yes, Commander. I mean, Rhino is a long ranger. Rhino wants to be in maybe this area. Yeah. On the move. Here we go. I'm gonna use. Uh... Now that's the question. Can we destroy all of them in this round? Yes or no? You know what? We're gonna go with the legging here. Not enough, though. Not enough. Crazy. I mean, the thing that I'm gonna definitely do is this. Is it? Wait, 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 wait. Is it? I mean, I can punch this guy. I can shoot him in the back with that, but that's not gonna work. Huh. Alright. Let's focus on the things that we can focus on. And that is destroying the Hawk. Alright, cool. And... Hmm. He's not quite knocked down. Oh man! Oh man. What do we do here? Though so the Dervish is so evasive that it doesn't make sense shooting this thing at all. Um, the ideal spot would be where I could hit the Shadowhawk as well as the Trebuchet. Which is here. Alright, let's do it. Shoot the rotary auto cannon to the trebuchet with 79% chance. Cool. Oh. Shadowhawk down. And we have the structure exposed. But the problem is that they have now another full turn where they can do whatever they want to do. Alright, we're fine. Please don't hit the Rakshasa. And he's going for the Rakshasa and. Destroying whew, nothing. Luckily. Alright. Yeah, I got too cocky here. I admit it. That was my bad. Here. But you know what? It doesn't matter too much. Luckily. So here we go. That's a melee attack because our arrows don't do anything here. Apart from team damage. And I don't want that. Good. Now the rifleman. Can we go into his back too? Technically yes. But our hit chance would be pretty garbo. Gonna do it anyway. Maybe we can even destroy this guy. Let me see. Yeah, with the call shot to the center, it was definitely possible. I need a new target. Cool, cool, cool. And now you get back. Run away. Do something. Get into the flank of this guy. Why not? Why the hell not? So that's one MRM down, as well as a medium laser, and I think my Zeus got some friendly fire here. Um, how do we do it? 
We need more distance between us and the enemy, or we just punish him like that. Okay. So Trebuchet going for another shot. Missing this time. Perfect. And I think he also got some instability on his mech as a result. Perfect, yeah. Now I think it should be easy. I'm gonna use my Rakshasa this time to punch him. On the side. Down he goes. Okay. Not too bad. Yeah, we have a bit of repair time later, but I think it's not gonna be an issue because we want to travel anyway. So let's get into the end zone and uh, try to capture the base there. There will be one lance um, that is reinforcing the whole scenario here, but I think uh, we can easily do that. Two mechs coming from here, two mechs coming from here. If you just uh, stagger our mechs in a good way and put them into a good position, that's what I mean, then we will, we will succeed. I need to do something with the rifleman though. In this hot environment, it's getting too toasty. Way too toasty. Alright. And you go over here. Double time. Let's go. Okay. So, who is the one stepping into the end zone? Alright. Yes, thank you. That's a big circle. Wow. You're crazy. But as soon as we have captured it, um, as I was saying, we're gonna get another lance of enemies. Cool. Rocks are unjammed. Wait, is nothing? Is it nothing? Let me see what's coming there. Bringing the Rakshasa over here so that we can sensor lock later. Good. And the Stalker can also be on the front line. It has a lot of armor and we want to share that with the friends. There we go. Where are they coming from? And when? When? Hello? Nobody? Really? What's going on here? That is not supposed to be like that, to be honest. Hmm. Hmm. Enemies, where are you? You should be coming now. All right. So we see a dragon. We see a quick draw. We see a cicada going melee. Whatever. Yeah, what is that? 25 damage? I'll take that. Thank you. The problem that I'm having is that I want to shoot my arrow. And I want to shoot it into the bulk of mechs that are standing on the right side. Problem is that they have spawn protection, obviously. But hey, let's see what we can do. Let's go ahead and actually precision strike here? Why not? Okay, structure is exposed already. Oh, there's Roughneck. Beautiful Max. I love him. Also, a beautiful backstrike there against your own friend. <laughs> okay, that almost killed the Cicada, by the way. That thing is running an XL engine. Wow. Just wow. Okay, you know what? Uh, actually, this is uh, a good spot here. Now, let's move in. Let's move at least a little bit. And shoot the Roughneck in the back. And we'll even go with a precision strike here. Fire. Oh, he's already unsettled. That's interesting. That is super interesting. This pilot seems to have very low morale. Crazy. Crazy. But you know what? I guess we just shoot the Roughneck to smithereens first. I think that makes some sense. There's a crit on the gyro. Didn't do so much though. I mean, he's unsteady and he is stressed now, but that's about it. The dragon, on the other hand, can actually hit us quite hard with his 90 melee damage. That's quite insane on a 60 ton mag. That's really good. Yeah, I see that. Ow. Oh, this is perfect. This is so good. Look at that. Here we go. We'll shoot. We'll shoot it directly like that. So, that's the kill. I was my, my biggest hope was a knockdown here, but if we get a kill, so be it. 
Ah! That hit something good. Yeah, it hit something good, but it wasn't enough. I am underwhelmed by your shooting here. Gator is opting for another melee attack. What? This could actually hurt my arm. Uh, where's my Rakshasa? Yeah, we have a heatsink destroyed. Ouchie. Okay. That was really bad. But we are still alive, and that matters. So next up, next up is gonna be... Reading you. Hmm. I'm here. My Stalker, it needs to go right now. Victor didn't do anything so far though, that's kind of weird. Alright, let's do it like that. I'm very well aware that I am kind of exposing my mech too much here. But it should be okay. And honestly, just to secure the kill here, let's go for the side torso. That was not the side torso. Ow. Alright. It has to be the Rakshasa then. Eh. Yeah, but hitting what? I copy. This guy. Just because it's the best hit chance that we have. And the ammo goes boom. Oh my god, that is so good. Perfect. Great. Hey, this enables us to do whatever we want to do now. Perfect. And I want to do exactly that. Here we go. Multi-target. Uh, everything here except for one LRM that goes into the back of the cicada. And I hope that we kill. Very nice. Actuator destroyed. And honestly, that should be the kill. There we go. Finally. Enemy destroyed. Waiting for orders. Mm, by the way, um, since we are since we're here and we can talk a little bit, there was a um, request that I should play more missions each episode, and I should make a uh, minimum seventy-five minute videos. Um, that's the thing that I can sadly not provide, at least not the seventy-five minute video, because I have a very tough schedule releasing two videos a day for Mech Warrior Online and BattleTech combined, as well as live streaming. Uh, and then I also want to maintain something like a social life. I know, right? It's the thing with the people around and, and going outside and stuff. I don't know, it's super weird, but I really like that thing. Yes. And as a result, I sadly cannot play uh, 75 minutes and more each episode. It's just a thing that I cannot do. I'm sorry for that. However, I try, of course, to squeeze as many missions into a single video as possible. So if we get to a point where we can play three missions, I will definitely play them. Anyway, how do we do it here? Could result in a little bit of team damage. It's a lot of cooling crit. And we have the knockdown, okay. This should seal his deal! No, no, no. Let's go and kill and shoot and destroy. Eh, uh, almost. There we go. <laughs> he finally decided that it is not worth fighting over this uh, piece of scrap anymore. Good. So I can pick his piece of scrap off the battlefield and take it and add it to my collection. Mission successful. Nice. Yo, Federated Sons give us plus 9 reputation, that's perfect. We have 114,000 sea bills earned, we're gonna repair a little bit. And we have 4 salvage. Now what do we do with that? I think I want the Roughneck. And I'm thinking, I'm very much thinking about picking up the Shadowhawk. The Royal Shadowhawk, just because it gives us money, just because we can assemble it and then... Uh, sell it as a result. Artemis is not needed. C3 slave unit not needed. There's an Ultra AC5. I'm not, I need another Ruck though. Hmm. LRMs. Yeah, there's nothing really that I want except for this mech. And then we're gonna take a quick draw. Yeah, just because it's the heaviest mech on the battlefield that we can possibly build together. We got the Artemis anyway. We get a bunch of mech parts. Dervish, Cicada, Dragon... Two quick raw parts, and again, our Shadowhawk as well as the Roughneck part. Alright. 
So that should get us ahead of the of the money curve again, and that enables us to get more Argo upgrades, and secondly, of course, uh, travel to a better star system where we can actually finally engage in four skull missions, and that's what I want to do right now. So I want to I want to find those big assault mags. Oh, refit here. Oh yeah, we lost the heatsink. We have to replace that. Not a big deal. There we go. Repair that. And it's taking two days. Minor damage here. I'll get it in the <sighs> this Wolverine could also go, technically. Or what? That's what we do. Drop it. Go to storage. Build a Crusader. Oh yeah, let's build a Crusader, guys. I've never had a Crusader, ever. And the Royal Shadowhawk. And we could build this quick draw. Why not? Yeah, this is looking good, but we need more Assault Max. Cool, let's take a look at the Crusader. Yet again, haven't really played with that thing yet. And it comes with a standard engine, a Core 260, two LRMs and two medium lasers, as well as a Flamer. So, oh, and two SRM6 in the legs? What madness is that? Short-range missiles in the legs. That's crazy. Absolutely crazy. But it is a 65-ton mech. And while it comes with a decent amount of hard points that I really, really like here, it is not really good anymore. Not in my not in my lands. We are way beyond that. Cool model, by the way. So here's what we do. We drop it. Good. And we have that Shadowhawk that brings us the LBX. It brings, I think, an XL engine. Uh, ba -ba -ba -ba. Standard engine, actually. All right. But yet again, we're going to drop it for money. And then there's the quick draw, which is... Boring. Standard engine, medium, some, some short-range missiles. It has double heat sinks though, so it's fine. But as I was saying, I don't need it anymore. So we're gonna go ahead and just drop it and sell it. That's a lot of stuff that we have. It's really good. Uh, Royal Shadowhawk, yeah. Sell that. Will be. Goodbye. As well as the Quick Draw. Goodbye. As well as Crusader. And that gives us already 3 million sea bills again. And that is cool because now we can upgrade the Argo like crazy. Even if we are going over to the next star system, which takes us some time. I want to go to the 4 scale planet here. Obviously, because we want to play the 4 scale missions and I want a higher challenge. Let's do it. Let's go. I cannot wait, by the way, to play Rogue Tech again. It is all a matter of what you want, what you like. And uh, what I like to play. I mean, at the end of the day, it's my channel and I can decide what I want to play. And you kind of have to go along with it. But um, whenever I'm coming to a point where I'm like, you know what? I don't mind. I, I play whatever. Rogue Tech, Battletech Advance, both are cool mods. And uh, I let you decide, guys. So that's my notion right now. Some of my decisions are, of course, my decisions. Whenever I want to play another game or something. Uh, for example, the Call of Cthulhu series that I started, that was definitely my decision. I didn't ask for that. If I asked for that, people were probably like, yeah, no, I'm not interested in that, whatever. But I just wanted to play that game. Anyway, we have... Hmm. Hmm. Interesting weapon systems here. Triple plus only on an LRM5, sadly. There's a 15 with stability damage. And a Rack 2. Man, if that was a Rack 5, I'd be so happy. Armored Cowl. Yeah, I'll buy that. New equipment available. Melee Gyro plus melee hit, okay. AC2 armor piercing, AC20 half, mortar, smoke. Interesting. I want to pick up the LRM15 plus. New weapon systems available. Okay. So I think the Zeus was the one with the regular LRM15s, yeah. And we're gonna put all the stuff that we just bought into this guy. More stability damage is always good. So, where is it? Is it? There we go. And of course, the armored cowl. That is... Oh wait, we have an ECM that I wanted to put into the mech. Huh. Yeah, definitely. I think we'll even drop the laser for that. Put the armored cowl in here, which is not good because we had to remove the Artemis. Didn't know about that. Okay, somebody else is gonna get that. Uh, but yeah, we have ECM here. Uh, that we didn't have before. Let's put it in here. And 
Mm, in order to manage the heat, I think we go with three mediums here. Wait, we have some medium pluses as far as I can remember that we already put somewhere else. Okay, so that's not an option. Regular mediums, I guess. One and uh, two and uh, three. And that leaves us with half a ton left over. We could also bring an AMS. We should probably... We could bring two AMS. All right, all right, all right, all right. I think... I think this is what we do. Absolutely, but where do we put the ammo? This is not gonna be good. Ah, AMS ammo, put it in here. Let's actually outfit our mechs with AMS. I think that's gonna be really good. So two mediums, an AMS, and the Artemis ammo goes over here. So four days to repair. Um, the other mech that is probably also staying in our lands for a while is gonna be the Rifleman. And as I was saying earlier, we had the problem of, uh, yeah, having too much heat on the mech because of the ER medium. Sadly, we don't have an AMS hardpoint. Mm. Good. Who else? The Stalker has none. Wow. Akshasa has none? Okay. Huh. The Marauder also has none, as well as the Hatamoto. Wait, what? Oh, that's crazy. Do I just put two AMSs on my Suster? I think I want to try it like that first. So, we have more ECM. I need to be more defensive if I want to dive into higher skull territory. That's super important. And in order to get there... We could also rebuild this here. This is not really good anymore, I think. I don't know. The arrows are fun, but I don't think that they are effective. Or efficient. Effective and efficient is a little bit of a difference. I want that ECM, that's for sure. It's one and a half tons that I need to get from somewhere. Medium lasers, maybe. I mean, we have e cooling here. Thing one. Uh, we could also just drop a regular heat sink. E cooling is always better. The problem is that we generate a lot of heat with our, um, with our arrows here. So if we drop that, and then armor up, we'd be only, only arrows here. I think I want to rebuild this stalker completely. Pretty much. Yeah, I want the bigger engine. And I think I want to bring SRMs here. SRMs and medium lasers. Bye. So difficult. It's really, really difficult to make that decision right now. Problem is the weight. We have endo. We have... Cooling. We can probably not afford ferro, right? Can we? So if we drop the heat sinks completely, then we we might get it. Wait, 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 wait. Uh, if we drop ferro here, yeah, it's it's too much. It doesn't it doesn't work. It doesn't fit. Oh man! All right, so we're gonna go with uh, two regular mediums to save some heat, and then. And then I drop half a ton of armor. Come back armor, especially. Okay, so here is what we do. We go back to 75 tons, we go for regular medium lasers. Those do not do that much anyway. I mean, for a 75 ton mech, I think two arrows is already a lot. We need to put that on a different mech later. A mech that just can bear the weight a little bit better. Here we go. We wanted more and better heat efficiency on the Rifleman. How do we get it? We drop the lasers. Period. We just drop the lasers. We also put an ECM in here. We'll have one, right? No? As a C3 slave unit, command console. <laughs> okay, at that point, I'm running out of ECM. Yeah, but it's fine. But it's fine. Targeting system, plus one accuracy energy, not gonna use that. Okay, so what do we do? Regular ear me or ear mediums downgrading to regular ones? Probably. 
Yeah, that's what we do. Okay. So there's that. It actually says heat sinking 66, alpha strike 54, but that doesn't uh, count the uh, additional firing mode from the rotary auto cannon into uh, into this whole heat system there. Uh, what about this? It was also something that I wanted to do with the Rakshasa. Oh yeah, the targeting system. What are you using, Artemis? So my armored cowl is completely useless at the moment because I'm using Artemis on all of my mechs. All right, or a targeting system. But hey. Let's get Wobble back in action. Let's get uh, Zeus ready and everybody else, of course. Exploring ruins. Yeah, let's do that. We gained 50,000. We lost 50,000. So that's it. And I think some of my mech warriors can actually acquire some new skills. So why not do that too? Let's take a look at those fellas. Bruce? Um, Nothing really. Oh, that unsteady threshold is going to be good though. Yeah, I think I want that. Mech warrior training complete. It's gonna help us big time. Commander? Finally, Tactics 9. That means that Roller can also make some serious cold shots. Here we get plus one health, plus one gunnery, and minus one recoil. Training confirmed, Commander. That makes some sense. Standing by. Absolutely. We need to put Roller... Yeah, we need to put Roller on the Rifleman. Very important. That's gonna be super good. She has Breaching Shot and she has that minus one recall penalty. Oh my god, yeah, that's gonna be great. Let's go Lemonade. Tactics 9-2. Really good. Alright, and then there's Cruz. Still mediocre in his skill system. Give me good missions here. These have something for me that is four skull or higher. I mean, three and a half battle and a four skull capture base. I think we're gonna start with... Uh, yeah, let's go with that. Why not? Why the hell not? Maximum salvage. And as I was saying, I want Roller. I'm the Rifleman. I want... You on the Zeus. Um, you can stay in the back with your Tactic 7. You have a nice indirect uh, fire penalty reduction already. And... I think the rest is gonna stay like that. No, wait. Wobble is back. Let's bring Wobble over here to the Rakshasa. Although... Making cold shots with arrows is also quite fine. Rakshasa doesn't have that much pinpoint potential. Let's go with that. Alright, guys. Here we go. Yeah, as you can see, we have 4.5 Skull Lance value. That's pretty damn decent. We should go higher. We should try to get more Assault Mags and then stuff all the good stuff that we have into them so that we can build better machine mass destruction that can kill even quicker. Let's do it. So, what is that? Capture the Battle Mag Factory. Alright, it's a capture base mission. It's basically the same thing that we played before. And the good thing is that we get a lot of salvage here. 5 out of 21. If we're getting lucky and getting some nice headshots or criticals on the engine, that's gonna be perfect. Command interface initiated. Here we go. Keep your eyes clear and watch your sensors. When we have the we have the uh, the high ground here early on, pretty good. And there are the blips. So a cool thing is uh, we can sensor lock or we just throw our arrows around against the 100 ton mech. What? I didn't expect 100. Uh, I go for the 80 toner in the side there because the 100 ton mech is of course the more valuable one and the one that I want to salvage. Uh, okay. Should I bring reinforcements right away? And no. Full throttle. Printing. Oh, here it comes. It's an awesome. It's a PPC awesome. Enemy sensor lock detected. And he is sensor locking me. Let's give him hell with our rocks. And shoot six Enemy times. Oh, hell yeah. I love it. His side also is about to pop already. It's so good. Problem is that. What is coming there? PPC, PPC. Laser. I have no idea what that is. Double PPC and a large laser. Uh, an annihilator? Maybe? I have no idea. So, as I was saying, we're gonna try to destroy this thing as quickly as possible. 
Side also destroyed. Two PPCs off the board, but he's still up and running. Absolutely insane. Thing that I'm just banking on, by the way, is that we have higher initiative. Oh, it's a Marauder too. I mean, that thing, that thing would be a nice pickup. As I was saying, though, we're gonna destroy the awesome first, or at least we try. Yeah, this arrow needs to be. It needs to be changed. Okay, he didn't do anything. Very good. Cruz. Cruz is going down here. And... Hmm. I mean, we could shoot him on the side. But what is it good for? Maybe the knockdown. Yeah, that's what we do. Alright, Cruz. We're gonna shoot this with the LRMs and this guy with everything else. Let's do it. I'm just hoping for the knockdown so that we can make the call shot against the next round. But... He says no. This awesome was running a, uh, an ECM though. Which is extremely interesting. But it is destroyed now, which is really good. Ha! Ah, the rock is jammed. No! Still, I want that knockdown. For that reason, we're gonna keep shooting him. And he's panicked. Cool. Down goes the awesome. And now we can make the call shots. Rock is unjammed for the next round. Perfect. There's a lot of stuff lying around though that I don't like. There is more PPCs in the outskirts. How to do it here? I'm there. Priorities are priorities, right? Yeah, we make the call shot. First target down, 25% of the enemies, which means three more foes. And I think one of them uh, in the back is uh, also an assault mech, because he acted in turn one. Okay. Okay, I'll take the damage. This is a uh, Thunderbolt. It is so funny that the Rakshasa is always their center of attention. They really, really don't like that design, that mech design there. Yes, Wobble is getting the beating after beating after beating in every single encounter. Absolutely insane. Um, we just built evasion. I think yes. Yes, that's what we do. We build up evasion and we're gonna throw the arrow over here. Uh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. The reason for it is that I wanna soften them up and I wanna get some splash damage on the cockpit, hopefully. I don't know if that's even possible, but that's the idea. And maybe, just maybe, we can go with a called shot now from either uh, Lemonade or Roller. Both of them really, really good at that. Hmm. 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 What is it that we shoot now? We could do that. I should have reserved here, by the way. Um. I could start dealing damage to the Thunderbolt. The thing has LRM ammo in the center torso, and with a bit of luck, we get some nice crits there. Or I keep shooting this guy. Oh, let's do that. Alright. All At least he's unsettled. That hit him good in terms of morale. And there is a tiny toner in the back? Oh, please no. Please no. Alright, he's gonna make the cold shot. I think it's gonna be the rifle, man. Let's do it. Precision strike to the face. 16%. With all we have. Engage. Gotcha. And we got him! Yes! Yes! Oh, it. so good! Ooh, that not only gives us some relief, some stress relief, but also... That's a Marauder 2! That's gonna be our first 100 ton mag! Holy macaroni, that was really good. Santa Torso, let's destroy. Yes, good hit. 
follow up with more damage, please. Thank you. I'm here. Um, I don't know. Wobble, wobble is wobbling around here. <laughs> Actually, let's follow up with that. Kapow! Thunderbolt destroyed. That's a kill. Oh, this is so good. We jumped directly to 100 tons from probably the Stalker. And the 80 toner in the bag is not even not even interesting for me. Waiting for orders. Okay. It's an awesome. Hmm. Is that one of those PPC awesomes? Yes, it is. So here we're gonna go with a nice breaching shot, and saving target. some heat, but also maintaining the damage. Sadly, our auto cannon is jammed again, but that's fine. We dealt a good chunk of damage to this guy. Uh, we don't have breaching shot here, so we just go all in. Yeah, we only deal one damage each missile. This guy has 60% damage reduction. Uh, what we're gonna do here, though, is we'll just... Eh. We just make a torso twist to the right side. Zap. And zap. Yeah, I know. The reinforcements are coming. It's not cool, it's not fine, but it is what it is. Good thing is that we have him down to 36 health and center. Means that I can uh, I can try to I can try to soften him up a bit more and then go in with the criticals. See, I don't need much damage to deal critical damage. One heatsink down. Commander? And I think we're gonna continue shooting from the side. Sure, why not? Copy that, Commander. Perfect. There's a PPC destroyed. I mean, at least that. Reporting critical hit. Uh huh. One hit only. Can deal with that. But, you know what, I want to engage from the front, Rolling. not from the side. And the reason being that I want to get some more uh, shots on his center torso there. Cool. One side destroyed, the other one is also critical. Okay, that's a bit of LRM damage there. Here's the thing, I just realized. We could also pick up the awesome. I mean, we have five salvage available. And we have one awesome already off the board. And that's, I think, the second one. Fine enough. Punch out. There we go. So I believe we have like four awesome parts that we could technically take. So it's gonna be, it's gonna be interesting. All right. The reserve here. Let him come. Wobble is out of the... Uh, of, of the action here already, so she cannot go ahead and provide sensor lock, but maybe Maybe we can get something done here Standing by. Yeah, we're just gonna set up in the forest Leaving the Rakshasa all the way in the back Half the way in the back I want to be able to establish line of sight. That's important Ooh, A 70 ton mech. It's reserve. I want them to come to me and not be evasive and or defended, uh, guarded anymore. 80 toner. Yeah, that's fine. There's a 90 toner. Alright, guys. That means that we're gonna sprint in and give them hell. Comes the sensor lock. What is it? Banshee? Islander. Of course, Banshee is 95. Yes, Commander. Yeah. Yeah, I would love to have a Highlander. Can you give it to me? 19% hit chance. Um, I think we kind of destroyed it. Oopsie! Sorry! Sorry, not sorry. We, we kind of wrecked you. Okay, we got a sprint here. Staying evasive, also getting closer to the front line. Dealing only one damage each again. Castle Zeus is in cover, it is guarded, and it has the bulwark ability. 
But as I was saying, damage is damage. Really crazy that the 60% damage reduction is reducing the damage from 4 to 1 only. Kind of a weird rounding there, but I, I think it's fine, it's fair. We need more AMS. We destroyed 4 out of the 40 missiles. <laughs> wow. That's nothing. Go, arrows fly. So far so good. There's also another mech in the back that we don't know yet. Uh, by the way, they attack uh, the rifleman because the rifleman picked up the uh, thing. The uh, facility capture base thingy. That makes it their priority target. Do it. It's an excellent hit on the center. That means that we can almost destroy that thing. It's crazy how many missiles they have. They can all fire indirectly. Means that playing around with line of sight is uh, important here. Super important. So that's gonna be... You know what? That's gonna be a kill. Or almost a kill. 17. 17 structure is what's left on the center. I'm here. Yeah, what are you gonna do? Stepping over here, breaking line of sight, and unleashing hell. Kill? There we go. That's a kill. Cool. Now, wobble. Wobble, wobble, wobble. What is your battle plan? Can you actually do a, by the way, friendly fire, stray shots with arrows? It would be so bad, imagining uh, the arrow dropping accidentally into the back of the Zeus and then exploding in a huge area of effect. I don't know if that was cool. Yeah, our AMS is quite underwhelming, I gotta say. Again, four missiles. It's not much. Is that worth the one and a half tons? Maybe double AMS actually gives us something. Uh, catapult... Headshot? Cool. So at least we have one LRM crit. I mean, that's an achievement. And the center toss is also looking not that healthy anymore. Huh. What's interesting here is that the, the Zeus was targeted and not the Rifleman, as I was saying earlier. Kind of weird. Uh, ooh, let's go. Let's do it like that. The heat management on this map here, by the way, is glorious. It's really good. And I pulled down. Alrighty, perfect. Means that we can now hunt down the last guy, which is uh, the Zeus that is sitting down here. We can still shoot with everything. We hopefully get the headshot. We did get the headshot. Down to what? 16 health. 16. I'm receiving you. Move order received. Let the arrow fly. Oh, I should have gone with the headshot too here. And I think we got it. Pilot incapacitated. It was it's what they said. We got the random arrow headshot. Wow. So good. I would say that was a quite successful mission here. That was really good. And it also means that... Man, I don't want to drop the Stalker, but at the same time I want to drop the Stalker. It's kind of weird. I have a love-hate relationship with the arrows. In some situations they are really good. They deal so much good indirect fire support, but sometimes it's just lacking the punch of a direct shot to the face. You know what I mean? It's so weird. We'll definitely take the Marauder, and I think the next part is the Highlander here. So that's gonna be... Could also take the Zeus. Now the Highlander is just better. The Highlander is just plainly better. It's an investment into the future, and we are performing pretty well right now, so it's gonna be that. Uh, wait, Highlander, Highlander, Marauder, Marauder, Marauder. Let's do it. 100 tons, baby.
We have the awesome catapult part. We have one Zeus part, large lasers, LRMs, Artemis, blah. Okay, so that's not what we were coming for. We were coming for the full 100 ton mech. It's gonna be glorious. It's gonna be good. And oh, you know what we're gonna do? We have a Hata Moto Chi lying around with a large laser build. We're gonna put that over to the Marauder and make it better and bigger and glorious and put a targeting computer on the mech so that we can actually hit stuff with it. And we're gonna throw, what, 40 damage? 45? Around all the time. Let's see. There we go. Ready up. So it has nine energy hard points. Nine. And that lets me think that we will actually drop the Hata Moto here and actually put it on this uh, on this Marauder. It just makes so much sense. <laughs> oh my god, lots of standard heat sinks. But here's what I want to do. I want six large lasers, all on the arms. I could even go with extended range large lasers. So, first of all, wait, we need that lower arm. Heat sinks, be gone. I don't need you. Jump jets, I don't need you either. Get out of here. So many standard heat sinks. I want the doubles and I want a ridiculously high engine and a no, high rated engine. And then I want to be in the fight with that Marauder. Keep in mind, that's 100 ton and 100 ton brings also a lot of armor to the table. So we're gonna go with like 100 on the back and 90 on the side. Maybe 180 on the legs. Something along those lines. Yeah, this is looking good. We have 89 tons out of 100. I know that we have no cooling yet, but that's a thing that we can... Yeah, exchanger. Uh, that's a thing that we can change, though. Double... Wait, 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 wait. Double heatsink kit. Perfect. We will put some more large lasers into the mech. This is gonna be the light show mech. Completely. XL engine. <laughs> I want an XL340. That gives us e-cooling 3. Hmm. I mean, 375 would be possibly too much. 300 is too slow for me. I want 3, 320, 325. 340 is good. So can we buy e-cooling 3? That would be awesome. Uh, wait, wait, wait. Wrong. I wanted to go over here. Cooling 3 is not available, sadly. Alright, so we have to go with the e-cooling 2. Okay, I guess we're gonna put some more double heat sinks into the mech then. Also, wait a second. We want the accuracy. Ah, okay, I can put it in here. That's not a fire control system, that is a TTS. Very, very interesting. Uh, a Guardian ECM definitely makes sense here. We can put the armored cowl into the mech then. Aha. Command console. Yeah, no. No, not here. And it's not... And is an option. All right, we'll take hands on the Marauder too. Why not? Barofibrous, Endosteel. With Endo, we would we would miss out on a lot of slots here. That's a mild problem because I want to put more stuff into the mech. Cool. That's twenty percent sensors. Not bad. I mean, with the Endosteel, we can afford the command console. I don't know exactly what it does. I think it gives you a higher initiative. It doesn't state here, sadly. So the tooltip is the tooltip is a bit bad. Is plus one initiative worth four tons, though? I don't know. So we'll drop the heat sinks and then we see. Sadly, we don't have any support hard points. I would definitely uh, slap an an AMS on the mech. Thinking is 90 to 100, so we have a delta of 10. Perfect. Um, yeah, I don't think I'll take that. What I actually want is another laser. I want another large laser. Okay, so we have used all of the slots now. Our heat management is not that great anymore, but still manageable. Exchanger, Guardian, ECM, E-Cooling 2. That would be E-Cooling 3 if possible. 
See, that's the last taunt that we have here. And then the build would be would be fine. It would be perfect. Putting the TTS down here to the center has the most uh, armor. TTS is better protected there. So yeah, that is eight large lasers. I love it already. I do love it. I could also do something different, as in... Instead of putting the large lasers in here, just a quick design choice. We'll put a triplet of ER mediums on the mech. Uh, lose the endo steel. Having basically the same amount of damage, which is 75 compared to 80, roundabout. Two larges is 80, uh, three mediums is 75. Yeah, the damage will split a bit more. Uh, but it opens us more space to put more heat sinks into the mech, which as a result works better in the end. <laughs> I had to drop the hands, which I can definitely do here. So something like Light Pharaoh would be nice now. And our heat delta would still be... What is that? 14. Still quite a lot. But we would have utilized all of our hard points. We have good range, right? 360, 450, so we would lose also some range on this. I like the idea of having eight large lasers, honestly. Eight large lasers. Yeah, that's what we do. That is what we do. So put that over here. Put another one over here. Then we had something like... Endo? Okay. Now we are at 100 out of 100. What, what is that here? Valid locations? Ah, here we go. Yeah, sadly we have two... <laughs> we have two slots here. If we had one more, it would be so good. Because then we could put another... Another double heatsink on the mech. I mean, we could lose the lower arm here, but that gives us accuracy and I don't want to sacrifice on that. It is the, it's gonna be the e cooling 3 that's gonna help us here. 100%. And in the meantime, the time being, the upgrading the armor to maximum armor. Almost. We have a little bit of uh, lag on lag, but we have to build that thing together anyway in the first place. So it's gonna take some time. 29 right. days. Alrighty, guys, we have a Marauder too, and I'm pretty happy about that. If you enjoyed this episode, then don't forget to leave a rating or subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. If you want to support me, go down below to the description. There's the link to my Patreon page, and I hope to see you next time. Goodbye.